In a nation that loves cash, banknotes are in heavy use and faith in them is crucial. Japan boasts one of the lowest counterfeit rates in the world. The security features on each note aren't apparent at first glance, but they make use of exceptional craft skills and the latest techniques. New banknotes are due to be printed in 2024. The technology required is constantly evolving. This time on Japanology Plus, we look at banknotes. They're a familiar part of Japanese life, but what surprising stories do they have to tell? Hello and welcome to Japanology Plus. I'm Peter Barakat. Right behind me, you'll see the Bank of Japan. Anytime you switch on your television and, and on the news, they're talking about interest rates going up or down. That's where the decisions are made. Just recently, the Bank of Japan announced that in 2024, it will be issuing a new set of banknotes. So it seems like a good time to take a look at the Japanese paper currency. It turns out that Japan has some of the most advanced printing techniques in the whole world. We'll be looking at that in detail, but first, a look at the yen itself. The Japanese currency is the yen. 100 yen is typically equivalent to a little less than one euro or one US dollar. Coins come in six denominations, one, five, 10, 50, 100, and 500 yen. Five and 50 yen coins have a hole in the center. Notes come in four denominations, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, and 10,000. The 2,000 yen note was issued to celebrate the turn of the millennium. The other three notes showcase portraits of famous individuals. The 1,000 yen note features Hideo Noguchi, a microbiologist who conducted groundbreaking research into yellow fever. On the 5,000 yen note is Ichio Higuchi, a novelist. And the 10,000 yen note features Yukichi Fukuzawa, a key figure in Japan's modernization. Portraits like these have long been the central design feature of Japanese banknotes. In the past, banknotes featured political leaders. Since the 1980s, they have been replaced by cultural figures reflecting global trends. Each person was chosen for their historical impact and great reputation. Japan's banknotes will be updated in 2024. The new portraits will include a businessman, an educator, and a microbiologist. Banknotes are printed by the National Printing Bureau. It runs six factories nationwide. Annually, they print a combined total of three billion notes. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Takashi Uemura is a researcher who specializes in banknotes. He worked for what is now known as the National Printing Bureau until he retired in 1994, but his interest in coins and banknotes remains as strong as ever. All of the Japanese banknotes feature faces of cultural figures. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, in Britain, where I'm from, I think all of the banknotes have the Queen's face on them. Mm -hmm. What's the, th the thinking in the way that they differentiate the, the faces on Japanese notes? Whenever we use banknotes in daily life, we catch a glimpse of prominent cultural figures. These well-known people from the 19th century offer food for thought. 
When a child sees one of these pictures, perhaps they think, I want to grow up to be like that. So it's inspirational and educational. The people featured on these notes made a huge contribution to Japanese society. Their achievements can't be overstated, and that's why we use their portraits. Also, the use of faces helps to prevent forgeries. We start differentiating between faces even when we're babies. We read expressions too. We'll think, ah, he's in a bad mood today. <laughs> so, when you see a counterfeit note, you may quickly notice that something's wrong. Uh, if it's a fake, the line work isn't as detailed. You can check with a magnifying glass and confirm it right away. Hmm. That's why I think portraits are essential as an anti-forgery tool. But that's not the only special thing about Japanese notes. Have you spotted anything else? Cherry blossoms. Ah, yes. Cherry blossoms are symbolic of Japan. Another example is Mount Fuji. You'll find Mount Fuji on the back of the thousand yen note. Ah, uh, OK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. All sorts of Japanese symbols are present, including famous views, animals, buildings and sculptures. A phoenix. That's right, a phoenix. So we see that kind of motif as well. Hmm. Let's take a look at how money is made. First, a master picture is created. A printing bureau specialist does this by hand, using a brush. An original plate is made from the picture. Points and lines are engraved into a flat copper plate surface using a special tool. Some lines are finer than a human hair. Ten lines or more can fit into a space one millimeter wide. Banknotes also embody advanced technological expertise. Each note is packed with cutting-edge features. The reason, of course, is to make producing counterfeits as difficult as possible. Let's use the 10,000 yen note as an example. Some of the characters, as well as the symbols at the bottom right, are printed in raised ink. People with visual impairments can tell each note apart by touch. Next, let's look at the watermark. It's within an oval frame at the centre of each note. This technique originates in traditional paper making. The National Printing Bureau developed it in collaboration with artisans. There are also transparent lines on the right-hand side of each note. Three on the 10,000 yen note, two on the 5,000 yen note, and one on the 1,000 yen note. Some elements look different depending on the viewing angle. For example, the hologram. One angle presents a cherry blossom pattern. That changes to a sun motif that is used to identify the Bank of Japan. The hologram is affixed to each note like a sticker. Another feature is latent imaging. When the note is tilted, the word Nippon, meaning Japan, is revealed. All these techniques and more are combined on each and every Japanese banknote. Some features are invisible to the naked eye. 
Japanese banknotes have words written on them at a microscopic scale. For example, Nippon Ginko, meaning Bank of Japan. Here you go. See if you can spot those words. <laughs> I mean, th there's no way you would be able to tell just looking at it. So you, you put it under the microscope? Yes. Okay. Let's have a look. At a scale of 50, the microscope reveals words that are otherwise impossible to see. Oh, it says Nippon Ginko. Yes. Okay. That's one of many examples. One type of ink used on the notes has especially unusual properties. Just put the note in the machine. Ultraviolet light reveals the seal of the governor of the Bank of Japan. It lights up in a kind of, looks gold. Oh, interesting. The level of the quality of engraving and everything is just amazing. In addition to that, I understand there's a lot of state-of-the-art technology involved as well. Perhaps you can explain a little about that. Well, the thing that makes Japanese banknotes really special is the watermark. Mm. The image is just so sharp. Mm. That, more than anything, defines Japanese notes. You can't achieve this mm. result using printing. It's done when the paper is made. Oh. The darker areas are where the paper is thicker. In the lighter areas, it's thinner. Tiny changes create gradients, which form the image. It's an exceptionally advanced mm. technique. Mm. Now, take a look at some US currency. Can you see where the watermark is on these banknotes? Uh, over here on the right. That's correct. And how does it look to you? It's not as clear as the Japanese one, definitely. I, oh, the Japanese one is distinctly clearer than all of the others. I see what you're saying. Yeah. The difference mm. really is quite noticeable. Mm. It's one of the big reasons why Japanese notes are so difficult to forge. In the early 2000s, around 20,000 counterfeit banknotes were found annually in Japan. In recent years, the number has fallen dramatically. Technological innovations led to unprecedented success in forgery prevention. Actually, when did anti-counterfeiting start in Japan? From the late 17th century, a feudal system was still in place, and each domain produced its own currency. There were many domains, resulting in many currencies. If notes weren't protected, someone in a neighboring domain might start forging them. It was necessary to prevent counterfeiting and anti-forgery techniques became widespread. Oh. In some cases, they added a watermark. The watermarks were crude compared to what we have now, but those notes were the precursor to modern banknotes. The quality of digital printing these days is becoming incredibly good, and you have things like 3D scanners. And, you know, the, the technology just keeps going up and up and up by leaps and bounds. Do you still manage to stay ahead of that? Let me show you something on that subject. Both sides of a Japanese banknote contain pearl ink. It glows at certain angles. That technique absolutely cannot be replicated. Do you have any idea exactly how much counterfeiting goes on in Japan or in other countries for that matter? In Japan, the number is very small. As a comparison, let's take the euro. According to public data, around 22 billion banknotes are in circulation each year. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's an awful lot. The amount of fakes found each year varies. But on average, it's 260,000. Mm. Now, the US dollar is used all around the world. 
They don't announce any official figures, but the number of US notes in global circulation is around 70 billion. It's a big number. The dollar is used in the US and internationally. The number of counterfeit notes is around 70 million. In Japan, over a billion notes are in circulation. But these days, just one or two thousand counterfeits are found each year. I mean, it sounds like a joke. It does. It's very apparent how effective the security measures are. There is a global trend towards cashless payment. In the modern world, purchases are increasingly made with a card or a mobile device, rather than with cash. The country with the highest cashless payment rate is Sweden. There, the proportion of cashless transactions is over 90%. Even church offerings are done electronically. There are fewer and fewer occasions when cash is used. Japan, on the other hand, has a cashless payment rate of only about 20%. Why are new payment methods not catching on? At the same time as they're talking about issuing new banknotes, the government is also really, seems to be anyway, trying to promote cashless payments. In Japan, it's not happening, not yet anyway. Um, how do you see that playing out in the near future? Japanese people tend not to pay by card when making large purchases in particular. They're worried that the amount will be entered wrongly, or someone will misuse their card details. Electronic payments are seen as unacceptably risky. Mm. Another reason is natural disasters. If there was a power cut, you wouldn't be able to use your card. You'd be in trouble. Oh. In order to avoid that risk, the prevailing wisdom is that you should always carry cash and not just rely on a card. Mm. That's why cash is still so widely mm. used. And of course there's the element of there being much less crime in Japan, violent crime anyway, than there is in most other countries. Japan experiences less counterfeiting and less crime in general. As a result, people end up keeping cash on their person or stashing it away at home. You know, once in a while you see it in the newspapers that what they call um, Closet money, I think they call it in Japanese, tansiyoki. I guess in English we'd say you put it under the mattress. According to official data, 20% of Japan's GDP is kept as cash in people's homes. That's 43 trillion yen. That's an enormous... <laughs> the government is trying to achieve a cashless payment ratio of 40%, but I'm not sure it will succeed. Ultimately, it's the public who must decide. Does it benefit me economically? Mm. Is it convenient? People will consider mm. various factors. Mm. Mm. Perhaps cashless payments will catch on. But will Japan eventually become like Sweden? Uh. Uh, it's hard to say, uh, but personally, I have my doubts. In Japanese society, shopping isn't the only way that cash changes hands. It is also given on life's most important occasions. At a wedding, for example, it's customary to offer cash as a gift. The notes are placed within a very specific form of packaging, which reflects the feelings of the giver. Hi, I'm Matt Alt, and this is Plus One. If you've spent any amount of time in Japan, you've seen these envelopes that are used for gifting money. There's special envelopes for weddings, special envelopes for births, special envelopes for getting into school, and special envelopes for funerals. These are all used to give money in special situations. Why do Japanese go to all of this effort to package the money they give? That's what we're going to find out on today's episode.
This seems to be an animal of some kind. What is this? Is this a bird? Yes, it's actually a crane. In Japan, a crane is seen as a divine messenger, bringing happiness and good fortune down from the heavens. That's what a crane represents. This design is used at weddings and on other auspicious occasions. You can bend it like this, as a finishing touch. It's very pretty. The custom of giving money in elaborate envelopes is well established in Japan. What values does it reflect? Well, for auspicious events and on other milestone occasions, people want to express their feelings. Simply handing over cash is pretty crude. They want to show that they have gone to some trouble. I see that as part of the cultural context. Matt's going to try recreating this design. It represents Mount Fuji, another auspicious motif. So what do we do first? The cords are strands of twisted paper. By stretching out the paper, we can make it more flexible. Five strands is an appropriate choice for an auspicious shape. Hold them in the middle and pull the ends up with your other hand. Bend them round the back to form a loop. Hold them with your left hand, hold the looped cord with your right hand, then let go with your left. Now thread through this loop. Uh -oh. Then through the middle. If, if this were surgery, I think my patient would be dead. Okay, and how long does it take to get good at this? I suppose it's just practice. The more you do it, the better you get. Hmm. This, this, looks, this looks more like a jellyfish than it does Ooh. like Fujisan. It's fine. <laughs> I'm always told that. You've done very well. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's because of you. It's because I have a good teacher. And believe me, when we look at these side by side, you're going to be able to tell the difference. The next step is to attach Matt's handiwork to an envelope. No gift envelope is complete without a banknote. Ready. Wow, impressive. Thank you very much for showing me how to do this. You know, in the West, the giving of money as a gift is sometimes seen as almost vulgar, like you didn't put a lot of thought into the present. But when you wrap your money in a beautiful envelope like this, it's a completely different story, isn't it? And it just goes to show you how important the Japanese see packaging, even when giving gifts of money. The government made an announcement just a short while ago that in 2024 they will be issuing a new set of banknotes and here are some of the basic designs. Can you tell us something about these as well? These are the new designs announced at a press conference in 2019. The 10,000 yen note will feature Eiji Shibusawa this father of Japanese capitalism founded Japan's first bank and many prominent companies. The 5,000 yen note shows Umeko Tsuda, one of the first Japanese women to study abroad. She became a pioneering figure in women's education. The 1,000 yen note shows the microbiologist Shibasaburo Kitasato. His groundbreaking work included developing the serum therapy for tetanus. For the last few decades, the portraits have shown cultural mm. figures, mm. and that mm. won't change. It's the same with the keynote colors. Mm. But there is one significant change. 
The appearance of the denominations will be brought in line with the global standard. They're becoming much bigger. That is one big difference, isn't it? Yes. And the Japanese characters for those numbers have been made much smaller. Oh, that's right. It's a much more international approach. OK, OK. There's another change, too. Do you see the stripes mm. they've added? Those mm -hmm. are 3D holograms. They're being added for the first time. They represent a groundbreaking development. Many of the smaller details have yet to be decided. So it's possible that when the new notes are finally printed, they'll feature even more innovations. Oh, OK, OK. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Next time, plasterwork. We find out about a traditional craft skill that is an indispensable component of Japanese architectural identity.